Well, a heads up, we're about to spring forward this weekend. Daylight saving time begins Sunday. That means one last hour of sleep, which will not be fun. Oh, that is not. It takes a while to get adjusted to that. Mary Mills is uh, live at Long's Bakery with why that one hour can be such a tough adjustment, especially for the kiddos, Mary. That's right, and I have to start by saying, what a tough assignment. Suddenly I feel really hungry looking around at all these donuts. But yeah, we're talking daylight saving time, and certainly it's a lot easier to, to fall back in um, the fall. But uh, the folks here know that all too well because not only do they lose an hour of sleep this weekend, but they lose a precious hour to make all these donuts. And on Sunday, nonetheless, you guys have been here for a long time. Tell me how much you dread daylight saving time in the spring. Yeah, I really dread it. You don't get to sleep as long. It makes your day go a lot longer. And you know what? Sunday is, is right the busiest morning? Yes. Sunday is by far the busiest morning with all the churches and organizations. We get stuff ready for them. So how do you get all those donuts done in time? <sighs> We, we hustle around here sure <laughs> to get it done. All right. <laughs> Got to say, too, it's a hassle for a lot of other folks as well. Kids who suddenly have to get up an hour earlier on Monday morning. And, uh, yeah, just one hour, but there are definitely effects. We talked to a pediatric sleep psychologist at Riley Hospital for Children, and she says it definitely affects us. How so? Well, it disrupts our circadian rhythm or 24-hour sleep cycle. Caitlin Walsh says it's kind of like jet lag. You're groggy, kind of slow the next day or so. And she says it can take one to two days to adjust. So, yes, you definitely feel it, some of us more than others. Lack of sleep we know causes a lot of issues in adults and in children. So kids tend to be a little irritable, more prone to temper tantrums, a little grumpier. And that's just if it's one night of a loss of sleep. Long-term um, lack of sleep for kids is very problematic and actually ends up, for a lot of children, imitating sort of the symptoms of things like ADHD. And so what do you do to prepare? Well, she says start getting the kids to bed a bit earlier, not just obviously Saturday night, but tonight, maybe 15 minutes earlier tomorrow night as well. And if all else fails, the best advice is try some sugar in coffee. That, though, is not Caitlin Walsh's advice. That's my advice, Ben and Julia. <laughs> All right, and we'd like to take you up on that, so yeah. make sure you bring us back a please, few donuts. Please, please, please. <laughs> we'll reimburse you. <laughs> uh, we will. You got it. You got oh, it. Oh, wow. Awesome. Mary, love Thanks, having you here Mary. on Sunrise. So